Dropdown fields are used throughout OPAS. They link any item in the database to another item. Here in the Works tab, we see a basic example of a composer being linked to the piece of music he or she wrote. Over here on the Dates tab, the conductor, the venue, and the orchestra are just three of the many dropdowns for this activity. Each of these links a single item from the address book to this concert. A drop-down fields follow basic rules of operation familiar to all Windows software. To select an item for a drop-down field, we can click this arrow, scroll up or down the list of available choices, and select the one we want. You can also click or tab directly into the field and start to type. The list hops down to the letter you select. When the field is selected, as you see here, you can also use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to scroll through the list of choices. To clear a drop-down field, select it, as we see here, and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now, the field labels for drop-downs in OPAS serve a function. They look like hyperlinks and act like hyperlinks. So when the drop-down has an item, as the venue does here, and we click the hyperlink, the field label, OPAS opens that program area and loads the item. So we can see the address book has been opened, it floats here on top of the dates tab in the background, and the venue is loaded. You can look at any information on any of the different screens or views, and even edit information if you need. Click the green OK or the red Cancel to step back one and return to the concert. If the field is empty, as the venue field is now, and the hyperlink is clicked, OPAS opens the program area, but in the search mode. So you can search for the item we want, press the Enter key, select the desired item from the list pane at the bottom, click the green OK to save and exit, and return to the main view. Use this technique if you're not sure the item you want even exists in the database to begin with. Items get into a drop-down list to begin with based upon their categorization or grouping in OPAS. So this ensures that when we click this drop-down, we only see orchestras and not conductors or venues or anything else. There are other rules that can fine-tune whether or not items appear in the drop-down at all and in what order they appear, but generally speaking, items are alphabetical in the list based upon their OPAS category.